hi there, students. To gazump and gazumping the noun. So, to gazump, this is a word that is used when buying houses. So, you go and look at a house and you want to buy it. So, you make the owner an offer and the owner accepts the offer. And then the next day, the owner is offered more money by someone else. And the owner accepts this increased offer. So, your offer has been gazumped. You have been gazumped. Okay, so it's this situation where you make an offer on a house and it's accepted and then somebody else offers more and the vendor takes that offer even though they've already accepted your offer. So, for example, I found the perfect house to buy. I made an offer on it and then I was gazumped. Okay, so this is, I think it's a British phrase. I think maybe the Australians use it as well. This only happens in a bull market where prices are increasing rapidly. Um, for, this phrase became quite common in the 80s and the 90s in the UK property market. Um, estate agents love it because as the sale price goes up, so does their commission. They make more money. Um, and this happens particularly when it's a verbal agreement. I verbally make the offer and the vendor verbally um, accepts the offer. Okay? And that is to gazump. So, I was gazumped. Gazumping was very common in the 80s and 90s. Agents love gazumping. Okay? So, to gazump is when you offer, uh, make an offer on a house, the offer's accepted, and then another offer comes in which is higher, and the vendor accepts that offer, having already accepted yours. Um, I also read that to gazump can be, you agree the sale with the vendor, and then at the very last minute, the vendor asks for more money and either the buyer um, agrees to pay more money or the sale falls through. Now, I've only ever heard this verb to gazump and gazumping um, when talking about property and buying houses. But having read in internet, they, they give other meanings. Um, firstly, to trump, to offer more, or to preempt, to act before, um, to reap the benefit, to get the benefit, to unfairly get the benefit from a situation that somebody else has worked to create. Yeah, so effectively to steal somebody else's deal. And the other meaning I read as well was a politician who takes bribes. But I've never heard the word to gazump used in either of these senses. To me, gazumping is when you're buying a house. You make an offer, the offer's accepted, and then you're worried that you're going to be gazumped. Because normally, at least in the UK, it takes a month or two for the um, deal to be finalised. It's not something you can do in five minutes. Yeah, you need lawyers and all sorts of things like that. So, to gazump, to be gazumped, it could be really annoying. You find your, the house you want, you make your offer for it, the offer's accepted, and then it's rejected because the buyer gets a higher offer, even though he's accepted your offer. To gazump is a regular verb. They gazumped me. He has been gazumped. His offer has been gazumped. 
This is a business word. This is an estate agent's word. This is a property market word. I'd probably give it some five or six informality. So you could use it just about anywhere. I'm sure you could use this word in an informal conversation in the pub. Now, what about the origin? Well, there is a suggestion that this comes from Yiddish. And in Yiddish, apparently, there's a word gesumpf, meaning to overcharge. So, yeah, I guess in this case, you are being overcharged. So, to gesumpf, you make an offer on a house, the offer's accepted, someone else makes a higher offer, and either you've got to increase your offer or you're not going to buy the house. So there you go. If you enjoyed the video, give it a rating, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you soon. Bye for now. To Gazan.